Please be seated. Enga mana, enga reo, enga iwi o ngā hau e whā, tēnei a kumihi mahana ki o koutou, nau mai, hara mai. Nau mai ki te whare kāwana, tjānara, kei whanganui atara, kei konei i te whare nei. Namaste, ni hao, ki o rana, talo falawa, malo lalei, and warm Pacific greetings to you all. Distinguished guests, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Government House for today's investiture ceremony. I'd like to specifically acknowledge Deputy Commissioner Wali Haumaha, New Zealand Police, Mr. Joe Harawira, a Kaumatua, and Ms. Puhiwahine Tibble, our kuia. Hosting investiture ceremonies is one of the most important duties that I perform on behalf of His Majesty, the King of New Zealand. I'm delighted to bring together such an extraordinary group of New Zealanders. You have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being to Aotearoa New Zealand through your outstanding achievements and your service to our communities. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest thanks to you for your contributions. After each recipient is honoured, I invite you to join with me in congratulating them. Ms. Catriona McLeod will now summon the recipients and read their citations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Dr. Karen Grills of Auckland for services to choral music. Dr. Karen Grills has been the artistic director of choirs Aotearoa New Zealand since 1989 and was musical director of the New Zealand Youth Choir from 1989 to 2011. As kaitiaki of Te Whana Wehi and Wakahuia, she brought Māori music to the forefront of choral performance in New Zealand. She's founding director and conductor emerita of the University of Auckland Chamber Choir. She established the university's postgraduate choral conducting programs. She's co-artistic director of the New Zealand Children's Choral Academy. She was a board member of the International Federation of Choral Music and a founding board member of the New Zealand Choral Federation. Dr. Grills has been a presenter, artistic panelist, and adjudicator at choral competitions and world symposiums for choral music in New Zealand. Dr. Karen Grills, please come forward.
Mr. Colin James of Waiheke Island for services to journalism and public policy. Colin James was a political journalist and commentator on domestic and foreign policy and political and social trends for five decades. He wrote for the Dominion, National Business Review, New Zealand Herald, and Otago Daily Times, and was a television and radio commentator. He is Senior Associate of the Institute for Governance and Policy Studies at Victoria University of Wellington, for which he chaired forums on public service and high-level policy-focused forums. He has written or co-authored eight books. He chaired the Land and Water Forum and Motu Economic and Public Policy Research. He headed the Hugo Group, which interprets and forecasts political policy and economic trends. Mr. James has held two university fellowships and is a life member of the Parliamentary Press Gallery and A2 Union. Mr. Colin James, please come forward. to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Associate Professor Catherine Andrew of Christchurch for services to nursing education. Associate Professor Catherine Andrew is Acting Executive Dean for Health at the University of Canterbury. As Head of Nursing at Ara Institute of Canterbury, she worked on the first graduate entry pathway in New Zealand that led to a master's degree plus nursing registration the dedicated education unit, Canterbury model, which has influenced other organizations and increased nursing graduates. She has supported the development of other health-related programs in Christchurch and beyond. She chaired nursing education in the tertiary sector and is a trustee of the Canterbury Nurse Maud Association. Associate Professor Andrew has worked with the Nursing Council of New Zealand to improve program quality nationally chaired the Council's Registrant Quality Committee and contributed to programme accreditations in Vanuatu and the Cook Islands. Associate Professor Catherine Andrew, please come forward. Mrs. Sunita Narayan of Wellington for services to language education and the Indian community. Sunita Narayan has been a teacher, fundraiser, budget manager, administrator, resource creator, and operations manager for the Wellington Hindi School. She supported others in New Zealand to set up Hindi schools or classes. She initiated a Hindi ambassador program for students and with the Indian High Commission, a Hindi Youth Leader Award. She is president of Community Languages New Zealand. She's organized conferences, written submissions and articles, and developed frameworks and strategies to raise the profile of heritage languages. She led development of a curriculum and teaching guidelines for migrant children and heritage language teachers. She co-founded the Indian Languages and Research Foundation and has assisted AFS, Asia New Zealand, and the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme. 
Mrs Narayan has initiated cross-cultural Hindi celebrations, including Wellington's first holy celebration. Mrs Sunita Narayan, please come forward. Mr. Peter Taylor of Renwick for Services to Business. Peter Taylor led the establishment of the Darden Business School Executive Leadership Program in New Zealand, a partnership between Ernst & Young, the University of Virginia, and the Darden Business School. He has mentored and coached several incoming CEOs, directors, and chief executives. He was a partner of Ernst & Young, during which time the organization offered pro bono services to Nati Poro and other iwi. He assisted Nati Awa Group Holdings, and following the settlement of the Nati Awa Rauputu claim, he provided guidance to the organization. As Commissioner of the Commerce Commission, he achieved major cost savings for New Zealanders through input methodologies, the rules that regulate the prices for the transmission and distribution of electricity and gas bills. Mr. Taylor chaired the Dame Malvina Major Foundation. Mr. Peter Taylor, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Tony Hanning of Dunedin for services to education and the community. Tony Hanning was chairman of the Dunedin Diocese Catholic Education Council. He was director of Catholic Education of the Dunedin Diocese from 1981 to 2019. He played a key role in the rationalization and integration of Otago Southland schools into the state school system. He's been a member of Lions Club International for more than 45 years, serving in many positions, including international director, representing New Zealand, Australia, Indonesia, and the Pacific Islands on the international board. For more than 25 years, Mr. Hanning was involved with Camp Quality New Zealand, providing camps for children living with cancer, serving as Camp Quality South Secretary, Camp Manager, then Regional Manager. Mr. Tony Hanning, please come forward. Superintendent Rakesh Naidu of Wellington for services to the New Zealand police and ethnic communities. Superintendent Rakesh Naidu has been employed with the New Zealand police for 21 years. 
In 2014, he presented data on family harm, highlighting the state of abuse in New Zealand. He collaborated and supported the establishment of the organization Gandhi Nivas to support clients in early intervention programs to seek help. He co-established an advisory board in collaboration with Massey University, which informed the need for holistic facilities for clients. Within the police, he helped establish the organization's first five-year ethnic strategy and sits on several advisory panels and boards to support diverse communities. Superintendent Naidu is the National Partnerships Manager Ethnic within New Zealand Police. Superintendent Rakesh Naidu, please come forward. Mr. Murray, Murray Warrington of Napier for services to brass bands. Murray Warrington joined the Hastings Citizen Brass Band in 1961 and has since held positions including president, chairperson and secretary. As band manager, he organized a 10-day visit to China and Hong Kong. He managed the National Band of New Zealand, organizing tours of the North Island, the United States and Europe. He was a national executive member of the Brass Band Association of New Zealand and has been financial controller since 1989. He managed the National Youth Band of New Zealand. He chaired the organising committee of the National Brass Band Championship Contest. Mr Warrington is a trustee of the Brass Band Association of New Zealand Charitable Trust. Mr Murray Warrington, please come forward. Mr. David White of Matamata for services to the prevention of family violence. David White is a campaigner against family violence. He is the father of Helen Meads, who was killed by her husband in 2009. He wrote Helen, the Helen Meads tragedy, and family violence lifting New Zealand's dark cloud. He has spoken in schools, community groups and prisons, and engaged with government agencies. He has spoken at the New Zealand Police's Family Violence Specialist course. He sat on the Family Violence Death Review Committee. He supported the Ruapehu Fano Transformation Trust. He organised the national tour Harm Ends, Future Begins, advocating for a zero-tolerance approach to family violence. Mr White is an ambassador for White Ribbon and Grandparents Raising Grandchildren. Mr David White, please come forward.
Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Ms. Dai Bakken of Oltaki, for services to the community and environment. Dai Bakken initiated the Riddiford Street project, which led to the revitalization of the Newtown Shopping Centre and the annual Newtown Festival. She chaired the Wellington Civic Trust, founded and chairs the Friends of Otaki Rotunda, and was a trustee of the Otaki Museum. She's a trustee of the Fakahiko Energize Otaki Trust Board. She established a charitable trust to assist landowners wanting to adopt more environmentally sustainable practices. Ms. Bakken was vice president of the Environment Institute of Australia and New Zealand, and now co-chairs the working group established to integrate indigenous environmental knowledge into mainstream environmental practice. Ms. Dybuchan, please come forward. Ms. Lynn Cousins of Wellington for services to social welfare. Lynn Cousins led the project to ensure British child migrants received a £20,000 payment from the United Kingdom government in 2019 to compensate children who were sent to Commonwealth countries following World War II. She led the Ministry of Social Development Social Security Agreement with South Korea, streamlining pension access for 36,000 Koreans in New Zealand and 4,000 New Zealanders in South Korea. She delivered a program to provide assistance to those stranded in other countries following the COVID-19 lockdown. Ms. Cousins was, has acted as a mentor and supported those new to the Ministry of Social Development. Ms. Lynn Cousins, please come forward. Mr. Ian Smith of Te Karaka for services to civil defence and the community. Ian Smith has been involved with community organisations within Te Karaka and the Waikohu area of Taira Fiti. He is the civil defence community link area coordinator responsible for 13 communities. He has supported the Gisborne civil defence team during multiple heavy rain events. He drove the acquisition of two-way radios and was instrumental in setting up a shipping container of basic necessities for an evacuation scenario. He volunteers as a radio operator for the Gisborne Coast Guard. Mr. Smith is a member of Te Karaka Community Health Committee and has served on the Gisborne Justice of the Peace Board. Mr. Ian Smith, please come forward.
Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces those things that make our society better. Service, manakitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of fellow New Zealanders. In doing so, you embody the spirit of the Whakatauki, Manaki Fenua, Manaki Tangata, Haere Whakamua, care for the land, care for the people, and go forward. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the King of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, I congratulate you on your achievements and I thank you once again for your service to our country. Kia ora, e mai tātou i tēnei ahiahi. Now you will see on the back of the programme the words to the national anthem in te reo Māori and in English. And I note that we have choral singers with us today. <laughs> so I look forward to them joining. I now invite you to stand with me and join in singing the national anthem.